Well, one man who's had a hell of a good day is Brent Rolster, and you're a Cantab, and you don't normally expect to be the front runner, do you? Definitely not, definitely not. We, but we had a very, very good road position. By the time 10 cars had gone through the stages before us, they were pretty well swept. I felt very sorry for, for Juddy, number one on the road. It's really, really hard work. But we almost made the most of, of the road position and, and had a good run, good clean run. Fairly tight stages in there today, weren't they? First two. First two were really, really, really tight. Very, very technical, very steep. And we completely balled the two rear tyres uh, in in basically 18k. Um, just completely gone. So yeah, it was pretty hard on the tyres. So I see this new rubber on the back now. Um, that's obviously going to give you a, bit, a wee bit more bite tomorrow morning. Oh well, we've, we've, uh, we're on to our, that's our third set of tyres, we've only done 50k. So it's, um, yeah, it's, it's one of those things. But maybe as we get um, out of town uh, and head towards the coast, we'll get a bit of rain and the roads will cool down a bit and, and, and tyre wear will be oh, Brent's been around for a long time, probably done the Port Underwood stages and yeah, he's a great driver and you know with a very similar car so yeah, I suppose it is a bit of a surprise. Well it's interesting, he was feeling a bit sorry for you because you're sweeping the road. Oh, I've had a fun day, it's been awesome and the roads haven't been too bad. The one that was cancelled was very thick with gravel and um, yeah, we were happy with the last stage through Taylor Pass because that was the one time we had a swept road and we had a, a good stage win in there so but there's a long way to go. Are these roads, from what you've seen so far, are they going to be suitable for you? Uh, stage is a stage, isn't it? You just cope with whatever it gives you and um, hope that you can uh, do your best. So, um, I suppose the more important question is, is a BDA the right weapon? Yeah, I think it is. It's so much fun to drive. <laughs> I love it. Every time, every time I crank it up, it makes me smile. So that's the top of the order in the classics and the top of the order as well, overall. And of course the Challenge Series being led by Brent Taylor in the Toyota 86. Another competitor that we expected to be up the front, and bear in mind it's early days, there's a heck of a long way to go, is North Canterbury farmer Brian Stokes, but he's had a few issues today. Yeah, we've had a bit of an issue with the clutch, so uh, we had to take the gearbox out and the belly housing out and have a look at the, a bit of a hydraulic leak, so it's been a bit torrid and uh, on a time constraint, so all hands on. How much do you reckon you lost? Oh, we didn't really lose any time in the stage, but um, you know now you can't just select gear and drive off, so it's, it's got to be fixed, so yeah, hopefully we've sorted it. It's a hell of a long way to Queenstown though. Oh yeah, sure is, yeah, and we've just been just been going quietly today. Yeah, it's, it's only the start. Yeah. And mate, I see you even got the kids involved. Yeah, no, I've got my whole family here, all my youngest boys coming on uh, Wednesday, but um, my daughter's flying back from Canada, especially for this, so it's pretty cool when Anne's co-driving, so fantastic. <laughs>